Welcome back everyone to this new tutorial. So now we're going to be working on the lighting. So this is it's going to be the last section in our tutorial series. All right, so let's work on the lighting. So if we switch, uh, by the way, I'm on the EV render over here, the engine that I'm using, the EV. So if I switch over here to the render, you can see that we have uh, our, our lighting sucks, to be honest. We have nothing going on over here. So we need to work on it. So, but before doing that, I'd like to study first the lighting in our reference so that we can uh, make it similar, so, so that we can achieve a similar lighting. So if we zoom over here on the back, we can see that we have some kind of a reflection on the back building. You can see this gate over here, this red object gate. You can see the reflection of it on the back building. So I'm pretty sure that we have a light source right beside this building. So we need to add that first. Let me just, I'm gonna just uh, create or put the cursor uh, right here. Shift S, put the cursor right there. And Shift A, let's add light source. It's gonna be just a point. But actually what we need to do is to increase its uh, strength to something like 1000. Okay, let's see. Yeah, we start to see that reflection on the back. So I'm gonna just increase it even up. Uh, 2500, something like this. So now as you can see, we have a nice reflection of that gate that is similar to this one. Not exactly the same, but for example, let me try to move it up. Yep, actually something like this, maybe move it forward or backward. Yep, something like this. So we got the idea. So this is the first light source that we got in our scene. Second one is gonna be these lamps that we got over here. So they are essential in this spot, especially on this section. So let's add them. So for this one, I'm gonna be just using so basically, if you are on the cycle, if you want to render this on the cycle, you can just use the emission. I'm gonna just show you in both cases. So over here, I'm gonna be adding new material and let's call it uh, emission. Okay, over here, I'm gonna be splitting my scene so that you can switch to the shader editor. And I'm gonna just remove this principal BSDF and I'm gonna be adding shift A, let's add an emission. This one, I'm gonna be connecting the emission to the surface. All right, and let's increase that strength to something like 50. And over here on the edit mode, I'm going to select that face and let's give it that light emission. We might also do this. I'm going to just add this uh, this edge over here. Let's make it also emit lights. And as you can see, since we are using the array modifier, the same effect is going to be applied to all of these lamps, which is pretty nice. Also for the color of it, we can make it a little bit pinky just a little bit, something like this, even though we're not gonna be able to see it because uh, we're running on a high strength. So basically, if you reduce it down, you're gonna start to see that that uh, that color. But I'd like to keep it high, just like this. So the next one, so if you are on this one, this lighting is gonna be for the, for the cycle. But if you are on the EV, so it's better to add these lamps. Let me just show you, I'm gonna just put the cursor right there. On the edit mode, let me just exit that. So shift A, let's add light. It's gonna be the area. This one. So let me just scale it until it fits our lamp. So S, X, just like that, S, Y. There we go. And let's just move it down a little bit. Okay, and over here, let me just increase that to, for example, 500. And for the color of it, let's give it that pinky feeling. There we go, we got it. I'm gonna just duplicate this lamp. Or you know what, let me just check. What about increasing it to 1000? Let's just see. Yeah, I think it looks even better. All right, so let's just duplicate this object, Alt D. So I'm using the Alt D instead of the Shift D, and let me just show you that. So basically, once we change uh, GY, so it's hard to move it manual. So the Alt D makes, uh, makes uh, if, you, if you change the settings for this one, for the first one, so for example, if you give it only 10 watts, you can see that the same change is going to be applied to all those Alt D duplicates. So this is a really good strategy. So let me just bring it back to 1000 and let me just duplicate it for the last time. So Alt D, GY, let's move it right there. Excellent. So I'm going to hit zero to get back to my camera view and it's looking pretty nice. And for the, also I'd like to add some color for this sign over here. So I have this idea to just apply that color to only this edge. So I'm going to be adding over here new material. Let's call it neon, blue neon or something like that. So over here, I'm going to just remove this principal BSDF, shift A, let's add an emission. Okay, and let's connect the emission to the surface. And this one, I'd like to make it completely blue. 
So let's assign it to that. Basically, we got it. And also for the for the strength. So over here, we gave it, let me just check. I think we gave it 100. No, just 50, 50. So over here, for example, let's give it 25. And also, since we are using this, uh, since we are working on the EV right now, I'm gonna just uh, shift A cursor to that location. And let's exit edit mode and let's add lamp. It's gonna be the area. This one, R, X, 90 degree. Okay, we got it. Maybe let's just scale it up. GY, move it forward a little bit. And let's increase that to, for example, 100. And for the color of it, let's make it blue. Yep, I like this blue. Can I even make it, uh, I think we can animate this one. Let me just check. Not sure if we can animate that, that color. So I'm gonna be investigating that later on. For now, let me just make it blue. Okay, we can also increase that, so S, Z. And let's move it down. Like this. Okay, I'm gonna hit zero so that you can see. Uh, actually, I don't like it. Let's try to make it 500. Maybe change its color. Make it red. Okay, let's keep it like this to 200. For now, I, let me just add another HDR map. So this one's gonna be one of the most important things for the lighting uh, process. So first, make sure to switch this one from the object to the world. And I'm gonna be adding over here, Shift A, I'm gonna be adding an environment texture like this and let's connect the color to the color and over here i'm going to be just opening that and i'm going to bring the night hdri map so basically you can use any hdri map that you want and for this one you're going to find it in the resources so double click on it and basically we got it so if we go outside you can see that we have this hdr map so we're going to be having a reflection of that environment into our scene which is pretty nice also over here i'd like to do something so since we are activating that node wrangler again let me just show you on the add-ons, node, wrangler, this one. So if we do this, so control T, click on this one and control T, gonna be able to add the mapping and the texture coordinates. So over here we can do this, we can control those, uh, we can spin it around until we achieve some good lighting, just like this. So 75 works best in my case. And as you can see, we got some realistic lighting going on in our scene. So we can do this, shift G and tab so that you can walk around and that's pretty nice. All right, so let's go for our first render. So I'm gonna just go over here and render an image. Okay, so we got it on the fly, which is nice. But also over here on the background, I'd like to reduce these bumps. The back building looks a little bit bumpy. Yeah, I'd like to reduce that a little bit. So let me just switch back over here to the object, select everything. And let's just go over here, for example, let's give it 0.3. Now we have some subtle bumps. I like it. All right, so next what I'd like to do is to uh, get back. Let's render that and I'm going to jump into the compositing and make some tweakings over there. All right, so let's switch over here to the compositing. First, I'm going to just use nodes. Okay, shift A, let's bring a viewer so that we can be able to see our render displayed on the background. And by the way, if you hit V, you can zoom back and Alt V is going to be doing the opposite. Zoom in. So let's just set it to that location, just like that. So first thing I'd like to do is to bring my reference because actually we are we're trying to have a match. So image editor, just scale match in this one using that F spy. So that image is saved. Also you can simply drag it over here. We have, we have the reference. So shift A, let's add first, I'd like to add the color balance. So let's put it on top of this and let's connect. Oops, I'm not able to see this. So I'm gonna be connecting the image to the image. Okay, so now we can control the, the color in our reference. So over here, I'm gonna be giving it this, this uh, pinky feeling. So over here, what about some bluish? Yep, something like this. And now as you can see, we're getting closer to our reference. Not the exact same, but actually if you want to achieve it, you can switch to uh, the render to the cycle because the cycle is much more realistic than the EV. But actually also the, the EV, it's looking pretty nice. I'm pretty impressed. Also over here, I'm gonna be adding the glare. So shift A, let's add the glare node. I'm gonna put it on top of this and let's tweak it a little bit. So I prefer to switch it to the fog over here. I highly recommend that you keep playing with these settings. So over here, we can go reduce it down and make it high quality. 
and basically that's it for our render so we achieve this nice result so in the next coming tutorial we're going to be working on the final animation so see you in the coming tutorial take care